and Kislovka of Kharkov region. The actions of five Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance groups against the Ukrainian units, as well as depots of ammunition, weapons and military equipment supplied by the Western countries. Kementerian Pertahanan Rusia melaporkan kemajuan operasi militer khusus 16 Mei 2023. Diketahui Kementerian Pertahanan Federasi Rusia melancarkan serangan gabungan dengan senjata berbasis udara dan laut berpemandu presisi jarak jauh terhadap unit angkatan bersenjata Ukraina, serta gudang amunisi, senjata, dan peralatan militer yang dipasok oleh negara-negara barat. Tujuan serangan telah tercapai, semua target yang ditugaskan telah dinetralkan. Sistem rudal permukaan ke udara Patriot buatan Amerika Serikat juga telah diserang oleh kendaraan luncur hipersonik Kinzhal di Kiev. Dalam arah Kupiak, serangan yang diluncurkan oleh penerbangan dan artileri grup pasukan Zapat telah mengakibatkan netralisasi prajurit dan peralatan militer Ukraina di sekitar wilayah Novomilsik dan Kilsovka, wilayah Kharkov. Kerugian musuh juga diketahui mencapai 60 prajurit Ukraina dan 4 kendaraan bermotor. Selain itu juga, Rusia melaporkan secara total 427 pesawat Ukraina, 233 helikopter, sebanyak 4.178 pesawat tak berawak, 422 sistem rudal anti pesawat dieliminir sejak awal operasi khusus. Sedangkan dari Kubu Kiev, Kementerian Pertahanan Ukraina melaporkan 520 tentara Rusia dieliminir dalam 24 jam terakhir. Sebanyak 199.980 prajurit Federasi Rusia meninggal sejak awal konflik hingga hari ke-447 invasi. Tonight, the armed forces of the Russian Federation launched a combined attack with long-range, high-precision and sea-based weapons against the Ukrainian units, as well as depots of ammunition, weapons and military equipment supplied by the Western countries. The goal of the attack has been reached. All the assigned targets have been neutralized. US-made Patriot surface-to-air missile system has been struck by Kinjal hypersonic glide vehicle in Kyiv. In the Kupiansk direction, the attacks launched by aviation and artillery of the Zapad group of forces have resulted in the neutralization of the Ukrainian manpower and military equipment close to Novomlinsk and Kislovka of Kharkov region. The actions of five Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance groups have been suppressed close to Timkovka, Masutovka, Kotlarovka of Kharkov region and Novosolovsk and Stelmakhovka of Lugansk People's Republic. Then my losses were up to 60 Ukrainian servicemen and four motor vehicles. In the Krasny Liman direction, the attacks launched by operational tactical and dummy aviation, artillery and heavy flamethrower systems of the center group of forces have resulted in the neutralization of the Ukrainian units close to Nevskoye, Chervonaya Dibrova of Lugansk People's Republic and Grigorovka of Donetsk People's Republic. The Ukrainian losses were up to 65 Ukrainian servicemen, two infantry fighting vehicles, and one Akatsa self-propelled howitzer. In the Donetsk direction, the assault detachments continued to conduct offensive actions against the enemy in the western part of Artemovsk. The units of the Yug group of forces held the enemy by covering the flanks of the assault units. The most difficult situation was near Krasnoye of Donetsk People's Republic, where the units of the 4th Motorized Rifle Brigade have repelled 10 Ukrainian attacks. The enemy losses were over 70 Ukrainian servicemen, one infantry fighting vehicle and two armored personnel carriers. Operational tactical and dummy aviation, as well as artillery of the Yug group of forces, inflicted a fire damage on the enemy units close to Chasov Yar and Bogdanovka of Donetsk People's Republic. As a result of the airstrike, a road overpass that was used to transport Support the enemy reinforcements to the town of Artemovsk has been destroyed close to Krasnoye of Donetsk People's Republic. Russian aviation have made nine sorties in this area during the day. The group's artillery have performed 74 fire on missions. In the Donetsk direction, the enemy losses were up to 215 Ukrainian servicemen, five armored fighting vehicles, seven motor vehicles, as well as some stabi and D3 howitzers. In the south Donetsk and Zaporozhye directions, the attacks launched by aviation and artillery of the Vostok group of forces have resulted in the neutralization of the enemy units close to Shevchenko and Velika Novoselka of Donetsk People's Republic, Malinovka, Chervonoye, Belagorye and Novodanilovka of Zaporozhye region. The actions of one Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance group have been disrupted close to Rozhainoye of Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy losses were up to 135 Ukrainian servicemen, three motor vehicles, 
vehicles, two stubby howitzers, and one Akatsa self-propelled artillery system. In the Kherson direction, the enemy losses were up to 25 Ukrainian servicemen, one Akatsa self-propelled artillery system, and five motor vehicles. Operational, tactical and army aviation and artillery of the Russian group of forces have engaged 75 Ukrainian artillery units, manpower and military equipment in 102 areas during the day. Fighter aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces have shot down Su-24 and Su-25 aircraft of the Ukrainian Air Force near Varvarovka and Krasnoarmeysk of Donetsk People's Republic. Air Defense Forces intercepted seven Storm Shadow long-range cruise missiles, three Harm anti-radar missiles and seven HIMARS multiple launch rocket system projectiles. Air Defense facilities have shot down 22 unmanned aerial vehicles close to Ivanovka and Yevgenovka of Donetsk People's Republic, Topolovka of Lugansk People's Republic, Inženernoye, Blagoveshchenka of Zaporozhye region and Krynki of Kherson region. In total, 427 airplanes, 233 helicopters, 4,178 unmanned aerial vehicles, 422 air defense missile systems, 9,176 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,100 fighting vehicles equipped with MRLS, 4,828 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 10,233 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Terima kasih sudah nonton. Jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan share ya!